वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर हितेश धुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू बाय डायरेक्शनल शिफ्ट रेजिस्टर इन दिस वीडियो सो हियर इफ यू सी द बेसिक ब्लॉक ऑफ बाय डायरेक्शनल शिफ्ट रेजिस्टर देन इन दैट वी आर हैविंग टू टर्मिनल्स राइट वन टर्मिनल इज ओवर हियर वन इज ओवर हियर एंड सी इफ दिस इज माई इनपुट then this d dash that should be my output means shifting is happening in this direction and if this d dash that is my input then d that should be my output as data is shifting in this direction and that shifting that will get decided by mode control so here we have mode control let us say m so if m is equals to 1 we can say data shift that will be happening in this direction and if m is equals to 0 data shift that will happen in this direction and that shifting of data that will happen with respect to clock right so shifting of data that will happen with respect to clock so here let me mention that see if data is shifting in this direction right so if m is equals to 1 data shifting happens in right direction so shift right that will happen if m is equals to 0 in that case shift left that will happen right so that is how basic block is there but now when we want to make this circuit practically at that time there are few things that we need to focus so here first i'll make this circuit by having d flip flop right so here i'm making bidirectional shift resistor by using four flip flops so let me connect four flip flops over here now see with this four flip flops will be having common clock connection right so here i'm going to connect positive edge trigger common clock with all four d flip flops so here i'm connecting positive edge trigger now see further circuit is quite interesting right so for that you see here we will be using a connection of or gate at input of all d flip flop so here we'll be having or gate connection with input of all d flip flops and this is what two terminal or gate which is having further connection with two and gate so two additional and gate that i'll be connecting with this or gate now you see here we have mode control terminal right so when you connect mode control terminal at that time you should be very careful you see this mode control terminal that is having inverted line and direct line right so i am extending inverted line over here you see and by this dark color i am extending direct line over here now you see direct line that we need to connect over here with first and gate and when you want to connect inverted line then you will have to connect that with second and gate right now here see the basic block then here we have this input or this input for shift right this will be input this will be output for shift left this will be input and this will be output right so here if i say this is my d in then over here will be having d in dash right and now see further connection that is quite interesting so for that you see 
here this connection that is what we will be connecting it with q2 see this connection that we will be connecting it with q1 this connection that will be connecting it with q0 right and see this connection is very simple q3 that will be connecting directly over here q2 that will be connecting directly over here and q1 that will be connecting directly over here right see that is how connection is there now i'll be explaining you how this mode is functioning so let us have m is equals to 1 so if m is equals to 1 you see all this terminal that is 1 and this is what inverted line so all these terminals are 0 right now you see any input to AND gate is 0 results output 0 so this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 right and if any other if any input is 1 then second input will be my output of AND gate so this will be D in now you see this is Q3 so over here my output is Q3 now you see this is Q2 so over here my output is q2 and see this is q1 so over here my output is q1 and if you add d in plus 0 so this is my d in if you add q3 plus 0 so this is my q3 if you add q2 plus 0 so this will be my q2 and if you add q1 plus 0 so this will be my q1 so if you observe this circuit right then you see this is D in and this is Q3 connection, Q2 connection and Q1 connection like this. So in this case we can say there is shifting which is happening in this direction and that shifting is shift right connection right. So when M is equals to 1 shift right operation that is happening as per this explanation which I have explained you right now right. Now let us try to understand second situation so in that we will be having m is equals to 0 so when m is equals to 0 see this 0 that will directly come here this 0 that will directly come here and this 0 that will get translated into 1 so 1 will be over here 1 will be over here 1 will be over here and 1 will be over here with this line you see so this line is 1 and this line that is 0. Now you see if any input to AND gate is 0 then that will make output 0. So you see this is what having one input 0 so this will be 0. This will be 1 0. This will be 1 0 and this will be 1 0. Right. And this is what 1. So 1 and D in dash. So this will be D in dash right now you see q0 that is what we are connecting over here so 1 and q0 so this will be q0 you see q1 that we are connecting over here so 1 and q1 so that will be q1 now you see q2 that is what we are connecting over here so 1 and q2 that will be q2 over here so now you see by orange color if you are 0 and q2 so this will be q2 if you are 0 and q1 so that will be q1 if you are 0 and q0 so this will be q0 and if you are 0 and d in dash so this will be d in dash right so now you see the circuit so when you apply clock over here right so data that should be getting shifted in this direction why the reason is you see 
this d in dash that will get translated in this direction after one clock and this q0 that will get translated over here and this q2 that will get translated over here and that will be resulting into q3 at this side so your data shifting that will happen in this direction right so this is how bidirectional shifting is happening so if m is equals to 0 shift left in this direction shifting will happen right i hope that you have understood this video